guys we're back here again with yet another review and today we're gonna be taking a look at my most anticipated marvel legends figure ever yes i'm not joking here i'm being dead fucking serious we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new hasbro marvel legends wave bone breaker build a figure series of marvel's maggot Sabretooth, which i'll talk about his dumb ass in a second and the best x-men character darwin that's right darwin we're gonna be saving him for last because he's my favorite out of the three and i'll explain why stay tuned for the show but without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at these packaging because i think his name is david nakayama he does the art for these and it is fucking phenomenal i love his artwork yeah awesome maggot with eeny and meeny or eeny and meeny i don't know who's who I don't know if it really matters. There's Sabretooth, which the figure looks nothing like that. Um, and then there's Darwin, which the figure kind of really doesn't look like that neither. And then on the back, there are the characters. Here's a read-up for Maggot. And then there is his barcode. He's hitting comic book stores now. Um, I don't know if they're hitting, like, Target or Walmart or anything. Uh, I know Sabretooth was hitting GameStops for some reason, but... Here's his barcode and his read up, and then Darwin. Everybody, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna read <clears throat> his name aloud. True to his name, Darwin has the power to adapt against any threat, be it searing volcanic heat or cold vacuum of space. Yeah, true to his fucking name, and that that, that that's a little hint as to why I fucking love this character. And then boom, there is the barcode so as you can probably tell i'm extremely excited to open these so without further ado let's go ahead and pop these bad boys and this guy open so taking these out of the packaging i gotta say they're pretty awesome i mean they're not perfect well one of them is i think one of them's pretty damn near perfect but the other two are okay so but it, it there's a lot to go over with these guys. So I want to start at the bottom of the list and then work my way to the top. So the bottom is obviously going to be this poop fucking figure, Sabretooth. Now this is supposed to be a first appearance of Sabretooth. And before all the nerds in the comments start coming at me, well, that's what he's supposed to look like. No, he's not. All right. Like this, this is the general style, but this head sculpt is so ugly to me. I do not like this head sculpt. Like just for instance, earlier, like when I said, like on the artwork, that that's, this is what they were going for. If they did this, then that would have been fucking badass. But the hair is different, the eyes are different, the expression is different. He looks so much more muscular in this. The oranges don't match. I don't want a saber tooth either way, but I feel for those who were hoping to get this and got stuck with this. The eyes just look goofy. I just don't think this looks good, um, at least in the head sculpt department. The body, it, it's a body we've seen a million times. Is it a good body? No. Do they keep reusing it? Yes. Um, but it gets the job done, I guess. I will say the sculpt on the forearms and the, the collar piece and the legs, the sculpt and paint are awesome. It's got a nice like dry brush over it that looks really, really good. I just wish the rest of the figure looked that good. The hands are painted pretty nicely. I don't know if these are new hands. Let me know if they are. Uh, I don't know. They might be, and they, they look really good. I like the big claws. The nails are painted. Um, and then the toes are the same way. Again, I don't know if these are um, reused feet, but eh. I don't know. I just... I, I, it, also, what bugs me is the legs look really good with like the connection to the calf, to the leg. But then the arms, the peg just goes into the arm. Like, that's really ugly. It looks like a custom, but, like, not a well-executed one. Like, there's they didn't even try to cover that up. Like, that's just a blatant line into the body. But Marvel Legends are do no wrong, so I got to be careful with what I'm saying here. Um, but, yeah, that just looks really ugly to me. It just... 
he's got a nice wash in the hair too but it just strikes me as a peg warmer i can't imagine a lot of people are buying this to go oh my god this figure looks great they're either buying this for the build a figure piece or they're just buying it because they don't have a saber tooth like i don't think like if you have the other saber tooth which i also don't think is a perfect figure then you probably don't need this one but a lot of people are just Marvel Legends completionists just for the sake of being Marvel Legends completionists. Even though these figures are not very good for the price points. And, you know, that's just my opinion. But as far as articulation, there's no accessories to speak of neither. I mean, he has the build-a-figure parts, but no accessories to speak of. The head will go up, down, pivot side to side, or rotate side to side and pivot. So the head articulation is pretty good. It's got some good movement. Shoulders move up, down, rotate 360, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that, again, are super ugly in terms of, like, how it connects to there. But, you know, they, they got good range. And then the wrists swivel and hinge. The crunch will go this far forward, this far back. I guess I just pushed in another notch. But it's fine. And then it swivels. I hate this setup. Like, the... I don't know, I just don't like that. It's ugly to me. Um, and then the hips barely move out. Like, that's literally as far as they move out. Um, he'll kick forward pretty far, back, not at all. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. No calf rotation. And then no ankle rotation. It's just ankle pivot. And it goes down and up. Look at this, guys. I'm doing it really hard. And it's not breaking because my Vulcan was defective. God, TikTok is such a funny place to me, but um, one day I'll get over that, but probably not. So, yeah, no accessories to speak of, subpar articulation and a subpar paint and sculpt. This is definitely the, the turd of the wave because, you know what, I'll save my thoughts for the end. But, yeah, Sabretooth. Next up on the list, Maggot. I cannot believe that they made a maggot. And they made my favorite suit for him. It's not what I think of when I think of maggot. Like, I I, I kind of think of more when he was a kid. And he was, like, the scrawny little kid with the big glasses. Or, like, the big goggles. I don't know if anybody remembers what I'm talking about. But I, this is definitely the best look for him. Like, objectively, this is the best look for him. And it just... Oh, man. They did such a killer job with this figure. And, it, you know, it sucks to talk shit on this poopy guy. And then rave about this guy, but it's it's a figure to figure cases anymore basis anymore. I don't think that the line is fantastic in any line. Like that's that's why people are like when I when people make the argument, I don't get it. Like a line is good, they have their strengths and they have their falls. Not every figure in the line is good. And this wave is a perfect example of that. And this is not one of the examples of not a good one, because this is an awesome figure. Taking a look at the head sculpt there. That looks great. The eye paint is awesome with his red eyes and yellow pupils. That looks great. A little tuft of hair on there. Him and Strong Guy must go to the same barber. But damn, that looks awesome. The blue skin looks so good. And then they gave him this new jacket. I believe this is new. Let me know if it's not. But it's got great texture all over the jacket. These beautiful shoulder pauldrons. Oh, they must be new because the shoulder pauldrons attached to it. So that's awesome. And then you get like a little bit of sculpting on top of the shoulder, which also looks great. The texture carries in there, which is awesome. And then the pinless arms and the hands with the gloves on there. This whole arm, I believe, is new sculpt. And it's beautiful, like seriously. And I like that they didn't do the bicep swivel at this line. I like that they still sculpted it to the top here so that it looked good in all positions. Very well done, Hasbro. And then the body, I think, is new sculpt too. Which is fine by me. This is a good sculpt. Can we get like... I don't even know. Can we get like a, a gladiator on that? That's a good sculpt. To get some veinage and nippies in there. Um, and then you get a belt. Which the belt buckle is painted. I like that. And then the legs are a little strange. Mine are a little loose. Um, like they don't... I don't know. They're just a little loose. And the... Like there's like this little like gap on the inside. I don't know. It's just a little strange. But it, it doesn't bother me enough to make me not like the figure but uh, i like the magenta it matches the gloves very good and then the knee pads these must be, i think they're reused from hercules if i'm not mistaken the first one with the ponytail um and then the knee pads probably are new and then i definitely know that these feet are reused from hercules actually so i think the knees are new and everything from the waist up is new 
and then I think the legs are reused. But I think that that's fine. When reuse is done properly, I'm fucking okay with it. And this looks great. The yellow is painted very nice. Painting yellow is a bitch, so I appreciate that. But he, you basically get three characters and one with Maggot. If you're not familiar with what Maggot's powers are, are and the reason he goes by the superhero code name of maggot is because he has two giant maggot like aliens that live inside his stomach and release from his belly button to eat things and give him power whenever he desires and it sounds like i'm fucking joking but that's actually his power that's why i never thought we'd get him and they have names me eeny and meeny i don't know who's who to be honest but you know you could probably switch it out and the sculpts on these are fucking amazing like they're nice and pointy uh there's not a lot of paint it's just their eyes are painted and then you know the little centipedal you know millipede looking guys now one is supposed to go on his shoulders you can put it on either one i find that it fits better on the left shoulder and then you get the other one that they're soft plastic so you put out his arm probably see where i'm going with this and boom she wraps around that is so sick like hasbro do more shit like this more character specific accessories nobody would have bought maggot i probably would have actually if he didn't come with eeny and meeny this is great this is a fucking amazing figure and i i think that hasbro did a really good job for everybody thinking that i hate hasbro i do not all right I just think that they could be doing better. And this is perfect example of that. Um, there's no other accessories other than the Builder figure piece. So let's go ahead and take a look at articulation. The head will go up all the way down. Rotate and pivot a little bit. I love the expression, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Him smiling is just awesome. The shoulders will go up, down. They will rotate 360. You just got to be mindful of those big shoulder pads. They're attached here, which is it's fine. Um, double or double jointed. Bicep, bicep swivel, double jointed, pinless elbows, which even being chunky like this, go all the way in. Can we uh, get these for Hercules, please? Can we re-release Hercules for the fucking third time and do it right this time? Do it exactly the same way you did before, but except maybe use this body, pinless arms, and the legs you already used. I would be okay with that. I'd probably be a sucker and buy it again. And then the wrist swivel and hinge. And then the ab crunch goes forward that far. Go back swivel hips move outwards that far down like i said mine are a little loose but that's probably just mine okay forward and back upper thigh cut double jointed knees the calf will rotate and then the ankle whoa who knew that you can do this with an ankle apparently you're not supposed to do this but <laughs> there you go ankle has fantastic movement so yeah this is beautifully articulated the accessories are amazing and I just, I just, again, cannot believe we actually got a Maggot. Because Maggot is just such a weird character. And this is, this is more what I want to see. More weird fucking characters to put on my X-Men shelf. And that looks great. But what takes the cake for me is Darwin. And it's solely because Darwin is my favorite X-Men character ever. Yes, I said it. Darwin. I think he's better than Wolverine. I think he's better than Storm. Not by much, though. Storm is mommy, but I think he's better than Storm, than Rogue, than Cyclops, than any other fucker that you can say. He is the best one, and I think that he solos all of them. And I mean that. I think he looks... or He's just cracked. And if you don't know, I go to school for... Um, environmental studies i'm a wildlife conservation and management major so i love animals and a big inspiration for what i want to do is charles darwin which i do have a charles darwin tattoo on my arm which i probably showed off on the channel priorly but I, what other opportunity am i going to get to show off a darwin tattoo than in the marvel legends darwin review you know come on come on but Anyway, enough ranting about how much I love Darwin. Let's take a look at him. The head sculpt here is definitely the look that I, won I wanted for him. It's not as good as David Nakayama's artwork, I'll have to admit. I Whoa, I just threw it. I'll have to admit, I think if they sculpted it a little bit more, like what he was going for with the sunken in cheeks and the better expression, the more angry expression, this guy kind of just looks like an alien, and I get that that's the point of Darwin, but... 
I don't know. And I think, I think it's the lack of paint, actually. I think the sculpt is there. I just think a little bit of paint would have amplified that a little bit more. And Darwin deserves that, guys. And I don't feel like this figure, objectively, is good. Like, I, I, I'm just raving about it because I love Darwin. But the figure is pretty, really lackluster. I mean, it's just pizza spider body mold, again, repainted. Um, with new hands and a new head. And maybe a new belt. Probably a new belt. But, you know, is that enough to justify $25? And I'm going to say no. But I would have bought it if it was $50. Because it's Darwin. Um, but the body... You know, he's got my favorite X-Men suit, too. Purple. Come on now. Purple's my favorite color. Darwin, you're hitting all the targets. Uh, it's got another layer of purple here. Like, on the forearms and the belt. Like, you can barely see that it's a different color. I don't even know why they bothered, to be honest. Like, I appreciate the extra paint apps, but at least make them meaningful and worthwhile. These barely are shown. Like, even in person, like, it's hard to see. I don't know why they wasted their time with that. You could have put the budget into giving us more accessories or better paint apps on the face. I would have appreciated that. But the belt is not really painted super well. It's a little sloppy, but I could probably fix that. And then there's, you know, a little bit of paint at the top of the legs and then nothing at the bottom with the big duck feet. Um, as far as accessories are concerned, he's the only one that gets accessories besides, you know, Maggot getting Eenie and Meenie. You get two open hands, which I believe are new sculpt too. They're kind of like elongated bigger fingers which i prefer that for darwin he's an intellectual he's smart and he i don't know i like the fist hands but i definitely prefer like the more i don't, I don't even know because he just looks like an alien you know his hands are bigger i don't know the other thing that i'm going to say i'm a little disappointed about with this figure is the fact of that he has such a lack of accessories um I'm going to go ahead and run through his articulation while I rant about what he could have came with. Darwin can literally do anything, okay? You try to drown him, he'll grow gills. You try to punch him, he can make his skin hard as steel. And if he can't beat you in a physical fight, his body will literally adapt to teleport him away. So why did we not get, like, a pair of wings or maybe an alternate neck piece with gills on it? Um, tentacle hands, I've seen him do that before, like... I feel like you could have went really good with the accessories on him. But unfortunately, Hasbro just kind of took the lazy route and was like, nah, nobody really cares about Darwin. Not knowing that I, I collect this line and I, I, I'm probably the Darwin's biggest fan. Like, I love Darwin. So, I don't know. I Let me know what accessories you guys would have wanted to see for Darwin. Because I, I think that he would have... He could have went came with like a lot, and I would have appreciated if he came with a lot. But yeah, Darwin. As far as scale goes, let's get them with the Zach Toys team. Here they are with NECA's King Kong, or I like to call him Silly Kong, with Jazzwares Toys Fortnite Legendary Series Tomato Head, the DC Multiverse Dark Knight Returns Batman, which he, Batman looks a lot bigger on camera, but in reality, he's not that much bigger. And then there they are next to Zombie Cap, which is from the same line. So, I'm going to let you know right now, this is the Zack Toys team, okay? Darwin's staying on my desk. He just is. He has to. He's Darwin. So, we have Dark Knight Returns Batman. Reason for it is, is I've always wanted the Dark Knight Returns Batman. You know what? Actually... I'm going to make this its own separate video. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys want a reason why I have the Zack Toys team. But, uh, yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm thinking of these figures. And it shouldn't be a surprise. I'm very happy with two out of the three of them. I don't give a fuck about this guy, to be honest. I, don't, I really bought him for the Bone Breaker to get him fully so I can sell him. Um, I don't have him fully yet. Um, quick little look at Bonebreaker, I guess. I mean, I I'm not keeping this. This is going on Mercari, so if you're interested in just Bonebreaker. But I don't have the Havoc piece yet. Um, if I find Havoc before I sell this, then I will take down that listing and add the Havoc piece. But I think the Havoc piece is just the barrel. I don't think... I don't think Havoc has anything else important. Like, so technically, if you don't need the barrel or don't want the barrel, you don't need it. Um, I will admit that I think that it's cool that they have storage for the, the other fist. I don't know where the other fist went, but then the little grate 
that goes here. But this is this is a little rant that I'm gonna do. I'm doing all the rants today. Um, this is why I don't like build a figures because I bought almost the whole wave. I wanted almost the whole wave except Sabretooth. Well, oh, the whole wave that I had a build a figure piece. I don't care about this Wolverine. God, can can we stop re-releasing Wolverine with every X-Men wave? It's ridiculous. But um, I don't need... I, I don't... I liked all of these. Siren. I still have Siren and Vulcan. Um, got a new Vulcan, by the way, for those wondering. I don't. I know, if you don't follow me on TikTok, you probably don't know. But I did get a new Vulcan. Um, and it's a great figure without the fucked up ankles. But I didn't want the build a figure, but I wanted the whole wave. And that sucks. Like, that is the worst. When, like, you buy the whole thing and the value, oh, it's in the Build-A-Figure. Well, I don't want the Build-A-Figure, you know? So I'd pay less per figure, keep it at $19.99, and not get a Build-A-Figure. That's why I like McFarlane, Mattel, um, even NECA, because NECA gives more quality. I know their figures are just as expensive as these ones, but they're way more quality and bigger, more accessories, in my opinion. So I'm fine with not getting... A build a figure. Let me know what you guys think about that because that is the worst. And it also sucks in the opposite end of if you want only the build a figure and you only want like one or two figures out of the wave. If even like that's happened to me too, like Strong Guy, I really didn't want a lot of figures in that wave, but I really wanted Strong Guy. Um, that sucks too. So let's stop. Let's go away from the build a figures. Let's just do deluxe figures. Like for those who want this, just pay 30, 40 bucks for it, you know? And if you want the wave, then cut down because cut them down five bucks a piece. Marvel Legends are 25 bucks now. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay? 40. Or, or I'm sorry, 35, right? Pay 35 for this. You get a bone breaker, but you don't have to buy every figure in the wave. And those who want the wave, you're only paying $19.99 again, you know? So. I know my schematics might not be correct, but let me know what you guys think about this. All jokes aside and all hate aside, this is a pretty cool figure. I, I, this is weird. I feel like this is backwards, but it's sculpted like that. So I don't know. Maybe mine's broken again. Do I get? Do I just get all of Hasbro's bad shit? But yeah, it's a cool figure. Um, just not something that I'm into, so I'm not going to review it. But let me know what you guys think about that. As far as these three figures are concerned. Two out of ten. It'll put it'll do the thing on the shelf. But this is just a really shitty figure. Maggot, nine out of ten. Pinless legs. Pinless legs, honestly. Maybe a sculpted shirt. It's a little weird that it's just paint, but damn, this is this is really good. Uh I can't believe that we got that. Nine out of ten. And then subjectively or or objectively, like a Four out of ten. It'll get the job done, but it's a pretty shitty figure. But subjectively, fucking eleven out of ten because it's Darwin, my favorite X-Men character. Comment down below your favorite X-Men character that isn't in the animated series. Or like in the animated series intro. Okay? Like give me a weird obscure character. Like, anybody want a beak? I would like beak. Is he's power dumb? It's basically just being a bird. Yeah, but I would love a beak. So, uh, <laughs> that'll be my next X-Men dream. I got my X-Men character that I want the most, and he will be on in every video from now on. So, get used to Darwin. But, without further ado, I believe that's all I got for today. So, if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, because I post a lot on there, and I have a lot of fun. So, I'm sure you all will, too. But, without that being said, I leave you with the bearing question. Who are you copping from the wave? You copping? Let me know. See you guys in the next one. Peace.